You were talking about some of the visibility within vSphere, uh, but I also know that you've been working on a tool that actually provides visibility into what is being uh, presented by vSphere itself. So maybe you can talk a little bit about that, about your, your project that you worked on over the past, well, probably year or years maybe even, right? Yeah. Um, so from the very early days uh, when we were going to run Kubernetes as a set of virtual machines on vSphere, I thought it would be very important to actually see what available resources were there before you even deployed the cluster. And so I wrote this, well, a couple of years ago, I think it was based on Power CLI, which was actually just query uh, how vSphere resources were being consumed uh, through, uh, you know, how, through Kubernetes. Um, and so after writing it in Power CLI, I was told, well, not a lot of Kubernetes people would use Power CLI. So then that made me start thinking about other ways that we could do that. So, uh, yeah, I think it was about this time last year, I started working on what is an operator. And an operator is just a way of extending Kubernetes. So what I did is in the operators, we created a bunch of what are called custom resource definitions that mapped to vSphere resources. And again, without getting into too much detail, tip the default or the standard set of custom resources in Kubernetes would be things like, things like pods and uh, you know replica sets and stateful sets and all of those uh, different things that run inside in Kubernetes. So we just ex extended it so that we could actually map from within, the whole point of this was avoiding context switches. So I didn't want to have to context switch out of my Kubernetes and go to the vSphere client and check something and then go back to Kubernetes and say, okay, that's good to go. What I wanted to be able to do was use the kubectl or kubectl command to actually just query. I know my Kubernetes cluster is running on vSphere. Um, maybe I want to scale out that cluster, adding new nodes. Um, to new worker nodes or whatever the case may be, how can I check that there's enough ava you know, available CPU, memory, storage capacity before I even do that operation? So that's essentially what we did. We um, built this operator with mapping of resources back to vSphere. And so I could query things like how many ESXi hosts are available on the vSphere cluster and where I'm running Kubernetes. Uh, how much memory, how much CPU, how much storage, all of those kind of things. So yeah, we just called it VQ Viewer. It's up on GitHub. It's open source. Uh, I've presented it at a few internal um, uh, demo days or whatever a better word for those things are at, uh, at VMware. Uh, some interest. <laughs> you know, so it's, it's difficult to say whether it'll ever end up in a product or not. Um, but just I personally speaking, I, I think it's something that could be useful, but that's, you know, I don't have, I can only make suggestions about such a feature. Uh, at the end of the day, it'll be product managers and engineering who will decide whether it's something that should be included in the product or not, as, as you guys well know. As well.